Was a line crossed? Did I commit a crime by purchasing this when I still have this? And I still have this? And I still have this? I wonder, what's wrong with me liking more than one doll? Let's talk about it. The Cairo did this. I come from an era where if you claim to be a rapper, you better have some dope lyrics, you better know the hottest rappers, and you better try to defeat your favorite rapper in your head while you dropping lines on the mic. I also come from an era where if you make beats, you better know your game when it comes to beat making. You better know how to put them drums with them hi-hats and them snares. And you better know how to put that bass line. And if you choose to use samples, you better know how to fish through records to find the right samples to make it work. But more importantly, you better know the equipment that it takes to make dope beats. And you better have influences from some of the top producers out there. Yeah, that's my era. But what's the error in me liking more than one piece of equipment in my lab? You see, I look at it like this. As long as there's creativity, good music coming out of whatever device that I choose to use in my lab, it's okay, especially if I'm not, let's say, really hating on the users of each one of these items. Am I really wrong for having an opinion about a device during my process of learning the device or even at the point where I know the device and I still have opinion, whether it's approved or unapproved by the masses. This whole dog war thing reminds me of the verbal beef between the PlayStation and the Xbox One owners or the PC and Apple users or iPhone Samsung. I mean, come on, man, I get it, I really do, I understand. But if I choose one, why hate me for the choice if I still like to, I guess, create on all? I mean, I had an Xbox One, I had a PlayStation, uh, I still have both. Um, and they both do things similar and very different. But I like using both depending on what I'm doing on them. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out this whole balance of hatred when people make choices, especially when I came in playing nice and just speaking on something that I thought was great to talk about. I didn't expect for my viewers to come at me saying, choose one or the other. Guess what? I ain't got to choose. It's my money. It's my time. It's my creative flow. And more importantly, it's in my home. So there's really no effect to your home. There's really no effect to your eyes. There's really no effect to your ears because guess what? You had a choice to stay and play or to go away. And I'm just keeping it real right now. But on the lighter shade, I think I understand what the issue is and let me explain. I'm not doing this to brag. I'm not doing this to say that I'm better than you on this one, this one, this one, or this one, cause I'm not. Cause every day is a learning experience for us all. But even more so than that, you don't get to choose how great I have to be when I spend my money on what I choose to use. No, I'm not bickering, no, I'm not hating, no, I'm not ready to fight. Internet beef, video beef, all fake to me. Uh, but I do want to bring it to the attention of my subscribers and those who continue to view my videos. Don't feel bullied because you made a choice to like more than one thing that everybody is using. It's okay. My thing with my channel it's for me to inspire people to use what they have. And if you like something new, so be it. Go out and get it, experience it. You might find something that you like better than everything that you have. But please under no circumstances go broke trying to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, we all fall victim to that from time to time. But at the end of the day, we regret it, right? This channel right here, I repeat again, 
This channel right here was created to create musical conversation are created to open up a platform for people who think like I do or who want to have conversations based on not really liking or let me rephrase that or have an opinion against the grain I'm okay with the dislikes I'm okay with the likes you know why because it means that I'm starting conversation amongst the people who choose to slide by and see what I'm doing. I come back to say, that's what it's about. Us doing what's right for us. But at the same time, coming together as producers, talking about the workflow or how we use the devices that we prefer. It's not always in an effort to persuade people away from what they're great at but it is in an effort to inspire one another because we grow together, right? The end result is what we have in common. Well, a lot of us should, and I hope you guys do. And that's the end song. That's the full album. That's the vocals over the beat and it becoming something that could be sold or shared. The workflow. What's your workflow? How do you do what you do? And I guess some of you may be looking for me to say, okay, what's my overall workflow on this? Because you want to stick to me just for this reason. But what about the people who like me for this? What about the people who like me for reason? What about the people who want to know what I do with Pro Tools? What about the people who want to know how I bring it all together? I can't just stick to one group of people when my message is for all the people who are like-minded all the people who are creators can't just stick to one audience when I have a broader one <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in I am the Cairo plug in get connected we are TMR the Cairo did this